I think there is a misunderstanding of what the nature of this case is. This case is not proof or in a sense of money laundering or any other crime. This case is simply an application to hold on to seize cash for three months pending investigation. What is the test? What must the applicant satisfy the magistrate of? Simply that there is reasonable suspicion that the cash is related to a criminal offence. It doesn't say which criminal offence. So if you look at section 38 of the Act under which the application is made, it says you must satisfy the magistrate that when you seize the cash or when you seek to detain it, that it is based on a reasonable suspicion of the commission of an offence. Reasonable suspicion simply means that the officer or the team who did the seizure must have some grounds. It doesn't have to amount to proof. So what you would have heard were arguments and submissions about proof and evidence when that all that is required is suspicion. But the suspicion can't be fanciful or imaginary or whimsical. It must be based on some factual circumstances. And so you would have heard the first witness speak to certain indicators of human trafficking that led him to form a reasonable suspicion that this was occurring. I noted that uh, uh, in earlier public communication on this matter, the Caribbean Brewery International mentioned that the reason for the stash of cash um, was because the banks would not allow for more than 50,000, any deposits of more than 50,000. And obviously, we, we would have gotten information um, through the FIU that, in fact, that is not the case. As you are aware, the FIU has certain powers to request banking information and so on. And so we intend, as this case develops, to demonstrate that that is a complete untrue. It's a complete lie.